The Industrial Revolution. It sounds like something out of a history book, right? But trust me, it's way more exciting than dusty old textbooks. Imagine a world before cars, smartphones, or even electric lights. That's where it all began. The Industrial Revolution, which started in the 18th century, wasn't just about machines and factories. It was a revolution of ideas, a time when humans dared to reshape their world. Picture this, steam engines powering massive factories, churning out goods at an unprecedented pace. New inventions from the cotton gin to the telegraph transformed the way people lived and worked. It was a time of immense change, both exhilarating and unsettling. But what sparked this era of innovation? How did we go from a world of handcrafted goods to mass production and technological marvels? The answer lies in the power of human curiosity, the relentless pursuit of knowledge, and a series of intellectual revolutions that forever changed the way we see ourselves and the universe. So buckle up my friends as we embark on a journey through these revolutions, exploring how they fueled the fires of the Industrial Revolution and continue to shape our world today. Before we dive into the mind-bending world of Freud and the groundbreaking theories of Darwin, let's rewind the clock a bit further. Let's journey back to a time when the very fabric of our understanding of the cosmos was about to be fundamentally altered. Long before the first steam engine chugged to life, a Polish astronomer named Nicholas Copernicus was busy shaking the foundations of our understanding of the universe. His work would eventually lead to a paradigm shift that would change the course of science and human thought forever. Imagine a time when everyone believed that Earth was the center of the cosmos, with the sun, moon, and stars revolving around us. This geocentric model was not just a scientific theory, it was a deeply held belief that shaped the way people saw their place in the universe. It seems obvious now, but for centuries this geocentric model was the accepted truth, reinforced by religious dogma and the limits of human observation. The idea that Earth was the center of everything was comforting and aligned with the teachings of the time. Enter Copernicus who dared to challenge this deeply ingrained belief. He was not just an astronomer, but a revolutionary thinker who questioned the status quo. Through meticulous observations and calculations, he proposed a radical new idea that Earth and the other planets actually revolve around the Sun. This heliocentric model was a bold departure from the accepted norms and required a complete rethinking of our place in the cosmos. This, my friends, was the Copernican Revolution. It was a monumental shift that would eventually lead to the scientific revolution and the enlightenment. It wasn't just about shifting planets on a cosmic map, it was about shifting humanity's place in the grand scheme of things. It was a profound change in perspective that had far-reaching implications. It challenged our assumptions, forced us to confront our own insignificance in a vast universe, and opened up a world of possibilities for scientific exploration. The Copernican model laid the groundwork for future astronomers like Galileo and Kepler to further our understanding of the cosmos. It challenged our assumptions, forced us to confront our own insignificance in a vast universe, and opened up a world of possibilities for scientific exploration. The Copernican model laid the groundwork for future astronomers like Galileo and Kepler to further our understanding of the cosmos. The Copernican revolution planted the seeds of doubt encouraging people to question long-held beliefs and seek new truths. It was a catalyst for change, inspiring a spirit of inquiry and skepticism that would become the hallmark of modern science. This spirit of inquiry would prove crucial in the centuries that followed, paving the way for the scientific breakthroughs that would fuel the Industrial Revolution. The legacy of Copernicus is not just in the stars, but in the very way we approach knowledge and discovery. Now let's fast forward to the late 19th century, a time when the Industrial Revolution was in full swing. The world was transforming at an unprecedented pace with new technologies and industries reshaping society. Cities were teeming with factories, technological advancements were happening at breakneck speed, and the world was on the cusp of a new era. The steam engine, the assembly line, and countless other inventions were revolutionizing daily life. But amidst all this outward progress, a revolution of a different kind was brewing, one that would delve into the hidden depths of the human mind. This was a time of great intellectual ferment, with new ideas challenging old certainties. This revolution was spearheaded by a Viennese neurologist named Sigmund Freud, a man whose ideas would forever change the way we understand ourselves. Freud's work was groundbreaking, 
offering a new lens through which to view human behavior. Freud's theories, often controversial but always thought-provoking, introduced the world to the concept of the unconscious mind, a hidden realm of desires, fears, and memories that lie beneath the surface of our awareness. This was a radical departure from the then prevailing views of human psychology. Imagine an iceberg with only the tip visible above the waterline. This metaphor vividly illustrates Freud's concept of the mind. The conscious mind, I argued, is like that tip, just a small fraction of our overall mental activity. Most of what drives us lies hidden beneath the surface. The vast submerged portion represents the unconscious a powerful force that influences our thoughts, feelings and behaviors in ways we don't even realize. This unseen part of the mind holds the key to understanding our deeper motivations. Freud's work, known as psychoanalysis, explored how these unconscious processes shape our personalities, relationships, and even our mental health. He developed techniques like free association and dream analysis to uncover these hidden aspects of the mind. It was a radical departure from the prevailing view of the mind as a rational, self-aware entity. Freud's theory suggested that much of our behavior is driven by unconscious impulses and unresolved conflicts. Instead, Freud presented us with a more complex and often unsettling picture of ourselves, one driven by primal urges and hidden conflicts. His work laid the foundation for modern psychology and continues to influence our understanding of the human mind today. As the world continued to evolve and transform, another intellectual giant was about to shake the foundations of human knowledge. This time, the revolution came not from the depths of the human mind, but from the natural world itself. We turn now to the mid-19th century, a time when the mysteries of life and nature were being explored with renewed vigor. Enter Charles Darwin, a naturalist whose ideas would forever change the way we understand life on Earth. Darwin's groundbreaking theories, particularly those outlined in his seminal work, On the Origin of Species, introduced the concept of natural selection. Imagine a vast, intricate tapestry of life woven through countless generations. Darwin's theory of evolution revealed that this tapestry was not static, instead, it was constantly being rewoven by the forces of nature. Natural selection, the process by which organisms better adapted to their environment, tend to survive and produce more offspring, became the linchpin of this revolutionary idea. Darwin's voyage on the HMS Beagle provided him with a wealth of observations that would form the basis of his theories. From the unique species of the Galapagos Islands to the diverse ecosystems of South America, he meticulously documented the variations and adaptations he encountered. These observations led Darwin to a profound conclusion. Species were not fixed and immutable. Instead, they evolved over time through a series of gradual changes. This was a radical departure from the prevailing view of the time which held that all species were created perfectly and remained unchanged. Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection challenged not only the scientific community, but also religious and philosophical beliefs. It suggested that life was not the result of a grand design but rather a product of natural processes. This idea sparked intense debate and controversy, but it also opened up new avenues of inquiry and understanding. The impact of Darwin's theories extended far beyond biology. His ideas influenced fields as diverse as anthropology, psychology, and even economics. The concept of evolution provided a new framework for understanding the development of human societies, the nature of human behavior, and the dynamics of competition and cooperation. Today, Darwin's legacy continues to shape our understanding of the natural world. His work laid the foundation for modern biology and provided us with a deeper appreciation of the interconnectedness of all life on Earth. As we continue to explore the mysteries of life, we are reminded of Darwin's profound insight into the ever-changing tapestry of existence. With the Darwinian revolution, we see how a single individual's observations and ideas can transform our understanding of the world. Just as Freud revolutionized our view of the mind, Darwin forever changed our perception of life itself. Together, these intellectual giants remind us of the power of curiosity, observation, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The question for us now is, how can we stand on the shoulder of these giants and contribute to science, technology, and society?